Hi, uh, today we're going to discuss container object and its properties. So uh, in container we can have multiple charts uh, in one object uh, at one place. Uh, so normally this is the requirement where uh, for example these two charts they are displaying the same thing but one in map and one in chart so we want, do not want to use space. Uh, we just want them to merge at one space and uh, on the click of the button we want to uh, we can you know uh, use that space. So how we can do that so I'm um, just it's very easy just drag the container object and then drag these objects in this container and it is all done here we go okay so that's easy and let's just uh, uh, yeah, bring it here uh, in order to save the space that's our initial objective so here we go and now if I go to the my analysis mode I can just switch between these two very easily okay so uh, it's it's it, it's uh, it's very easy to do that now uh, there are certain properties in container one is you know we have these chart names so what we can you do that we can say that you know uh, sales bar chart I can change the name here so uh, once I do that I can you know I can have them here and if I want to edit the properties no I can can't see it any here so I can just click it in here and edit the properties of this chart object and similarly we can do that the same for the map as well okay but then there are certain properties of the ch uh, this is a container object in appearance uh, rest are very easy but uh, the properties main properties are in the container here so one of the major property is tab so if I turn off this tab I cannot see this uh, these tabs here the names here if I turn that on I can see that and then in certain you know uh, menu uh, certain properties I can you know change uh, error navigation etc I can I want to do that uh, this, these are uh, in case there are you know a lot of values uh, then it merges into you know menu or a navigation so that you know uh, you can uh, 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 you can you know uh, wave move around okay and then this is the show icon button so if I turn that on I can show the icons what kind of a chart it is okay but what if uh, I turn that off this tab and then I have the option to choose uh, default tab so let's say just turn uh, default tab should be map but I turn that off how I can you know move between the tabs in this particular case okay so now there is a way around as for that as well so if i go to the properties here again as well i here i have a show condition so i can use the show condition to uh, show them show or hide them so for that i am doing going to create a button object here so i have already created this button object here uh, and in this i have created a change at, uh, on the click of the button it is going to change this variable i have created v container it can be any object so in this case I am saying that you know just switch between the values toggle between the values one or two and based on these values then I am enabling the charts here I am going to enable the charts here so in this case I am going to say that you know if this v container okay let's just uh, turn it on yeah v container is equal to one then show this one uh, in this case I'm gonna show say that if V container is equal to 2 uh, we can toggle between these two uh, in this case the label is button so we can make it more uh, intuitive this uh, labels so I have them in here so I've just used this can expression if container is one then show map otherwise show charts uh, so so in this case you know one means that it's showing the chart so then it has so if it is one then show map should be appear here and if it is two it means that you know we need to it's map at the time showing and we need to see the map so this is how we can control uh, you can have as many as of buttons here or you can control differently rather than just using this you can use the other objects other methods uh, to control uh, this particular flow uh, but this is a container object where you can you know in a single place you can see multiple values 
and uh, yeah, multiple objects at a single place and toggle between them using we saw that we can use that tab thing or we can use a separate button uh, outside this container to uh, use this object thank you very much